Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 64. So today we're going to focus on the guide building portion of our consumer applet, which will directly impact what your consumers see when using your KW consumer app. So the guide builder is located underneath our consumer applet. So we're going to dive in using consumer applet. And you're going to see here that we have guide builder as the third tab. So I'm going to click on guide builder and you're going to see underneath guide builder that we've got two different guides. We've got a buying guide and a selling guide. And right now you may not have any idea what that is. So, if as a consumer you download the kw app and this is just the consumer app and then you log in creating a new account as a kw consumer then this is what you're going to see on the app so this is actually my screen from my phone that you can see right now in the middle this is the consumer app at the bottom of the screen you can see guide so if i click on guide as a consumer you can see two tabs at the top. I've got buying and I've got selling. And on each one of these guides are multiple steps. So on the buying guide, I've got get pre-approved, start your search, tour homes, make an offer, execute home inspection, insurance, warranty, and close. And we go over to the selling side and I've got multiple steps. <laughs> Excuse me here on the selling side as well. So this is what we are basically customizing for your actual consumers as we build this out. So I'm going to move my phone back off the screen and then show you how we can add, edit, or build new steps inside of these guides. So let's focus uh, first on the selling guide. So if I wanted to add or edit a step there, I could click on the three little dots. I want to click on edit guide. And this will build up, bring up the guide builder. So first of all, you can see all of the steps that are already currently built out. If I wanted to add a new step, pretty simple. I would click on add a new step and you'll see what I get. So this is about selling your house. Let's say we need one that actually starts off with pricing your home, right? So we're going to put the card title as pricing your home. We're going to say subtitle, it's important you work with an agent that knows the in and out of pricing the market, right? Now you could definitely be more descriptive than this, but I'm just going to, for the sake of time, put that subtitle. Let's put a card image and then you can choose an actual image that you want to put in. So I'm just going to choose here a generic photo of the clubhouse of our neighborhood. So. I would click on continue and I have now created a basic new step for the listing guide for my consumers. And you can see if I click on the step, I also get this card workspace text. This is what's going to show up when the client actually clicks on this guide step. So you'll want to get detailed here, right? Knowing the ins and outs of today's real estate market is super important blah 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 right and so you can put as much workspace text with multiple paragraphs inside of here and that would be again what shows up i'll show you in a second what that looks like when the consumer clicks on that step next i've got pricing your home but we certainly don't price your home after we close it this should probably be our first step so if you want to reorder the steps in the guide, it's as simple as clicking on the six dots and then, whoops, now I can click on the six dots and drag that back wherever I would like that to be. So in this case, we're gonna put it at the very top and we're gonna come up to the top and click on save changes. So you can now see this is what's built out inside of my guide. I now have a new step if I go back a page to the guide builder, you'll see I went from seven steps to eight steps. And if I bring over the screen share of my phone and show you that, I can now refresh the screen and I get the new step of pricing your home. If I click on that step on my phone, this is where I get that workspace text that we talked about. So you can see that's what I just typed out. 
If you go to any of the other ones that are already built out, there may be more detail. That's actually a custom one that I've worked on. So here we go. Let's go to review offers. Here's one that's already pre-built for you. And you can see all of the content that's included underneath there as well. So once again, this is available for your consumer inside of the consumer app. And it's only available if they connect to you as an actual consumer. And so they do that through the more button up here. Typically, if they don't have an agent connected to them at the very top where it has my name here, this is where they would connect with you. And then you have the ability to customize what they see underneath guide by coming in again one more time into the consumer app, going into guide builder, and then clicking on the three dots in order to edit the guide. Here's the buyer side guide. And you can see there are already steps in here. Get pre-approved, start your search, right? Tour homes, etc. So you can see everything else included in that. And if you wanted to edit any of the steps, it's as simple as clicking on them and editing the card image, title, subtitle, and then the workspace text down here below. That's it for today, guys. Basically just setting up inside of the consumer applet, the consumer guide, for the KW Consumer app when paired and partnered with you as an agent. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.